Beautiful people, welcome once again to Rona360. Please, if it is your first time, Rona360 is about showcasing and promoting the arts, culture, and TV in Africa, in the whole world. So, if today is your first time, kindly subscribe to this channel and like this video and also comment and share. Thank you so very much. So, something remarkable has happened that I want I want all of us to take some time to discuss and think about it. And I will want you to join in the conversation. So please type in the comment section. What do you think is one of the most important things that every creative person needs? For me, I think that there are two things that, that are very essential for every creative person in Africa, especially in Ghana. If you're ready to know those two things, let's go. <laughs> Now, I personally believe that every creative individual in Africa, especially in Ghana, needs two key things. One is a means of transport. Anything that can help you move around as a creative person is really needed and very essential. Because you see, as a creative person, you are inspired day in, day out, a minute, an hour. You know, at any point in time, you can be inspired to create something. You can be invited by someone to an event, to a place, to exhibit your creative skills. And one of the things that can actually help you do all these things within the right time frame is a means of transport. And when I say a means of transport, I am saying that, look, apart from your, your two legs, that can help you walk. I mean, getting to your place faster means you need something that moves faster than your two legs. That can be a bicycle, a motorbike, or a vehicle. And I personally believe and I'm convinced that every creative person in Ghana needs this. Because, Charlie, if you do not have one of your own, eh, life can really be terrible for you. I know a lot of talent whose uh, interview sessions have been cancelled or have delayed because they do not have a vehicle on their own and they needed to resort to Trotro or Uber or, or boat. And you see, um, um, the, the reason why well uber or trotro uh, uber or boats or any of these and uh, taxi systems can actually help you reach there faster but you know it comes with some inconveniences you know um, um the cost of waiting for it to come and then it, but then if it is your own i mean if it is your own vehicle or if it's your own motorbike or if it's your own b b bicycle it is much better in that case you can travel anywhere because you you can't tell me that you can hire a boat or Uber from Accra to Kumasi or to Sunyane or to Tamale. But then if it's your own vehicle, you'll be willing to go that far. Trotro if and is a no-go area because the traffic and the, the police arrest and the inconveniences that comes with, with it as an artist, you know, is is something that we really want to experience. It is not that Trotro sitting in Trotro is bad, no. That's, that's not what I'm saying. But what I'm actually saying is that when you decide to take Trotro to an interview or to a destination or you decide to use Trotro for your everyday rounds as an artist, it sort of slows you down. That is what I'm saying. When when I'm creating something as an artist, that is not time-bound. Trust me, I will take Trotro. I will take Trotro anytime, any day. But if I'm doing something that has a time limitation, Trotro is a no-go area. Uber or motorbike or your own car that you can drive and beat time or be in time is the preferred thing. And that is what every artist needs. So I pray, I pray that every creative person in Ghana is able to afford a means of transport if even it's not your own but then you can afford the means of hiring as in uh, uh, taking uh, like an uber or whatever or if you hire a car it will be such a blessing now the second thing that i would also want to talk about that i personally believe and i'm convinced that every creative person needs in ghana if you're in africa especially in ghana is a means of accommodation that is a place to rest your head a house and it even becomes more blessing. It goes to the next level. It transcends to the next level if it is your very own house. You see, as creative 
people, we are judged by the community in which we live. We are judged by the people we inspire. And um, sorry to say this, but we we are all here in Ghana and, and we heard the life story of one of the legends of the arts and creative industry, the movie industry, in the person of some little few, Papa Ni, as we, we, we all called him in the famous Taxi Driver episode. And many Ghanaians were sad to know that Papa Ni, who has inspired a lot of Ghanaian young people with his movie and, and with the skills in acting, does not have a place that he can rest his head, that he can call his own. You see, there's a difference between a place that you rent and a place that you can call your own. Even if it is a single room and you know that this single room self-contained is my very own house. It, look, it reduces the burden and the stress and the depression on you as an artisan. Because you know that if you go out to go and create as an artisan and you come home around 12 or 1, you know that you are coming to your very home. Because the stress that comes with a rented place and you coming home late is an eyesore. If you live in a compound house or if I've rented a place that is in a compound house and you are a creative person and you are the, you are the type that goes out late to perform and stuff, just imagine the stress and the strain that comes with it coming late and you'd have to knock for the landlady or the landlord to come and open or your co-tenant to come and open you each and every day for the rest of your life. It is an eyesore. But then if you have your very own and it's even a single room, trust me, it is a blessing. It is a very big blessing. And it is my prayer that every young and old creative person, not only creative people, every individual in Ghana can own a place. That means it doesn't matter where the house is, even if it is part of a flat, like it's been done in the state, this housing project and uh, the floor in which you are is your very own it is still better than nothing at all it is better than nothing at all well, what someone just told me so if everybody owns a house what will happen to those who own houses and want to give it out to rent well the fact that you have been able to build a house and you are giving it out to a rent simply means that other people should be able to do the same if you think it is right and it is right too so renting or giving house to rent is a very good thing and if you want others to come and rent then it simply means that it's also a good thing for those others to also build their own to also give it out to rent or stay in it yes that just well, by the way now i am passionate to talk about this because our very own kofi edu popularly known as a has done something remarkable in fact for all these years of acting and raising the bar and making us laugh and learning through his movies by the grace of god he did a grand opening of his own house some call it a mansion some call it a, a cathedral whatever name you call it no problem but then the fact, the very fact that he has been able to afford a place that he can lay his head and i'm inspired and touched by the story that is why i'm actually sharing this video with you that it took him more than 10 years it took him more than 10 years and i like that he was true to people you see a lot of people would want to lie and so i built my house in two years in three years charlie in africa and in ghana trust me if you are an artisan if you are a creative person it will take you more than five six seven eight years to be able to afford even a single room yes because building the cost of building in ghana is not easy and so i am touched that apart from he inspiring us with his movies even his very own house project is also an inspiration for all young and old people that if you are in the creative industry and you want a place to lay your head and you must want a place to lay your head it doesn't matter the number of years it would take you just pray for strength and long life and be persistent and consistent that even if it takes you more than 10 years you make sure you are able to finish your house because housing is a very important thing for you as a creative person because you wouldn't want to go on retirement you wouldn't be, want to become old and you are now pardon me to say now begging people to help you rent a place it will not be good for you and so uh, we say uh, may the good lord bless 
Ejako and his family for making us laugh and learn all these years. May he continue to expand him and enlarge him as he continues to uh, 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 encourage and inspire more young people to join the art and creative industry. And we want to wish this blessing of housing for every creative person in Ghana and in Africa that after our long years of exhibiting our talent to change the lives of people in so many positive ways, God will bless our hard work so that we can also afford our own house that we can call a home. That when we go out, when we come out to create and inspire the people, we can come back home to a place we call our own and lay our head. If you were not there to see the the building, if you were not there to be part of the grand opening, enjoy this video and may the peace of God continue to be with you. And as usual, I'll always end by saying that I have seen a lot of talent being ruined and destroyed and abused because the talent themselves, the holders of the talent, abuse drugs. Please, it is my honest plea to you. If you are a young person, if you are an old person watching this video and you have a talent, you have a gift, you don't even have a gift, you are not even talented. As a human being, please don't abuse your body with harmful narcotic drugs because drugs will destroy you. I need you alive. The world needs you alive. Your friends need you alive. So if you like the arts, if you love the arts, if you love your culture as an African, as a Ghanaian, as a Nigerian, as a human being created to fulfill a purpose on this earth, and if you love Tivet, then I beg of you, please stay away from drugs because drugs will destroy you. Don't abuse prescription drugs. Don't take narcotic drugs because it will lead to your death. If you abuse drugs, drugs will abuse you. Stay alive. Be alive. God bless you. You'll meet one more time. Bye-bye.